Well, the Brooklyn Nets avoided elimination again. Darren Williams, Brooke Lopez, and Joe Johnson each scored 17 points for the Nets, who beat the Bulls in a tense game. The Bulls and the Nets are now tied in first round series. That means there will be a game seven. Only eight NBA teams have come back from a 3-1 deficit to win the best of seven series, but the Nets might just do it. The winner will get to play Miami in the second round. Well, Mark Jackson, the coach for the Golden State Warriors, got fined 25 grand by the NBA following statements he made after Game 5 against the Denver Nuggets. Jackson accused Denver of taking cheap shots at their point guard Stephen Curry. The NBA penalized Jackson for trying to influence officiating. Jackson said of the fine, I don't like it and I disagree. I'm $25,000 lighter, but I'm smiling. The Red Sox pitching ace Clay Buckles has been having a great year. He started six times this season and hasn't allowed more than two runs per game. Additionally, batters haven't hit a home run against Buckles in over 40 innings. However, during the Red Sox game against the Toronto Blue Jays, two local broadcasters, both of which are former MLB pitchers, accused Buckles of throwing spitballs. One broadcaster said, well, he's throwing a spitter because that's what it is. Well, the Washington Redskins have been undergoing a fresh round of criticism surrounding their nickname, which is an antiquated slang term for Native Americans. Both local politicians and pundits have joined other teams and members of Congress in their call for Washington to find a new mascot. However, a national poll revealed the name Redskins is still quite popular across the country. And the poll said those who are criticizing the Redskins moniker, at least 50% of those are Dallas Cowboy fans. The Baltimore Ravens offensive tackle Brian McKinney is staying put. He joined the team two years ago and won a Super Bowl with the Ravens last season. He had looked at some other teams as a free agent, but ultimately decided to stay with another two-year deal. The 33-year-old is already an 11-year veteran of the NFL. He spent his first nine seasons with the Minnesota Vikings. It looks like McKinney will be a starter again in Baltimore after playing backup for most of last season. Well, that's your sports in three minutes. I'm Rebecca Grant. Make sure you check back with us every day right here at 3MinuteUpdate.com.